Since a tragic accident almost cost a Charlottesville mother her life. Charlie Ann Xavier and her husband Andre were just days away from opening a new brewery with his business partner when an explosion happened. It was at VCU Health's burn center where her road to recovery would begin. In this week's Building a Better RVA, we share Charlie's remarkable progress and her husband's inspiring new memoir of hope. I do it in a weird way, but this is how I do it. There isn't much that can keep Charlie Ann Xavier off of her feet these days. And I do experience a lot of pain and I do need very special shoes, but I can do it. And she wouldn't have it any other way. When I first came home, I couldn't, I couldn't pick up my 32 ounce water bottle. So I had to buy a child's water bottle. And now I pick up my two and six year old. So I'm getting stronger. On September 10th, 2021, Charlie's life changed forever. She was burned on 85% of her body, down to the bone in some places. Doctors told her she may never stand or walk again. I wasn't prepared to accept that. Her husband, Andre, and his business partner were two days away from a soft opening at Patch Brewery when the unimaginable happened. Charlie slipped on gasoline while using a power tool. Moments later, she was engulfed in flames. The belt sander dropped, and because it has a true on and off switch, it was still running, and it sparked an explosion. Desperate to reach safety, she crawled to the gravel, fighting to survive. So I got my footing and I stood up and slowly and calmly walked while on fire out of the pavilion where I was working and rolled on the gravel back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I put out the fire. Four people were on site, including a nurse who happened to be close by. The one thing that I think I remember the most was their screams, not mine. I don't know that there will be any time in my life that I will hear such a horrifying shriek. The whole time I was like trying to get my footing and rolling on the gravel, I just kept saying, God, please let me live. God, please let me live. And I kept thinking about my boys. Charlie was rushed to VCU's burn center by helicopter. Andre in the dark on how severe the accident was. That was until he got to the hospital. And at that second, I remember time just froze and all I could think of, I lost my wife. She was really all wrapped up like a, a mummy. I couldn't see any part of her body besides her face, but she was Conscious. Conscious enough to write out a to-do list for her husband that included picking up baby food and tossing out a fish sandwich from the car. Wait, wait that's that's where you're thinking? <laughs> like you almost died and that's where you're thinking? I didn't want the car to get stuck up and you're allergic to seafood. <laughs> Charlie has had nearly 60 surgeries, but she's taking it all in stride and learning to adapt as she gets back to doing what she loves. Fun fact, you can't sweat anywhere that you've been burned. So if I don't have fans on me when I'm cooking in the kitchen, <laughs> it's literally like blood, sweat, and tears going into everything. Can't believe you're up here. But perhaps her most proud moment happened last Christmas Eve. Julian! Cell phone video capturing the first time Charlie walked up the stairs after months of recovering downstairs, missing these special bedtime moments. Get on the bed, get on the bed, get on the bed! How did that make you feel? Like part of the family? Yes. Their mom again? And the surprises don't stop here. And by August, he will not be doing school drop-offs anymore. I will be driving. I think then life will be pretty much back to normal. <sighs> Truly, some days it's hard to believe, you know, thinking, just looking back a year or so ago when doctors told me that she may not leave. Shortly after Charlie's accident, she was given a 3% chance of survival and told she'd be hospitalized for a year. But thanks to advanced skin replacement treatments, she would spend only half of that time in the medical center, blood donations playing a critical role in her recovery. If you have the ability to give, it's probably the biggest gift to yourself because you're helping people that you don't know. But trust me, 
to have Charlie here, to have our kids having her, their mother with them, is because of someone's generosity, right, truly. And a lot of people actually. I am praying that God gives me the strength to fulfill this new role. Since the accident, Charlie and Andre have found healing in sharing their story, starting with the blog documenting her progress, and now Andre's memoir, I Almost Lost Her. The biggest message that I hope this book achieves is to give people hope. You know, it talks a lot about advocacy and like how to be there for your loved ones when the you know, unthinkable happens. An unthinkable tragedy that Charlie has overcome for a second chance at life. We, we know I used that. to say I was a miracle, and now I can say I'm a walking miracle. <laughs> 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 it's been a driving miracle. <laughs> it's true. <Exactly. laughs> Hitting um, up the Starbucks <laughs> drive through Oh, my, oh my, yes. <laughs> And you can see her humor is still intact. I really want to thank Andre and Charlie for sharing their story. Charlie, you are such an inspiration. By the way, she says that she'll likely have more surgeries in the years to come, but as you can see, she is doing so well. Blood donations were a big, big part of that. If you've been moved by this story and you'd like to donate blood to help save a life, we've made it easy for you. You can visit our website, NBC12.com. You'll also find more information on Andre's new memoir. Accurate.